Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and we're back in the shave den and finally I get to do a shave. In fact, today I'm going to actually shave off the goatee. I was supposed to go to a wedding uh, tomorrow, Saturday, but due to COVID uh, concerns, they are actually postponing, uh, they actually already got married a couple of months ago, but they were going to have the formal wedding on this boat, cruising Newport Harbor, everybody wearing masks. But because of some concerns, they're going to actually postpone it till uh, spring, I believe, or later this year. But uh, no sense keeping the goatee now, so I'm going to shave this off today. And to do it, from fine accoutrements, I'm going to try, uh, and I didn't name it, it's the world's finest safety razor. Now, that could be a play on words because it comes from fine, but uh, we're going to try this out today. I did enjoy their uh, Marvel razor, Fine's Marvel razor. It was, it was pretty darn good. And <sighs> I'm going to use a feather blade today. So I'm hoping, and I'm, I'm pretty much healed up. So I'm going to give some warning. If I do cut myself, it's not necessarily the products. I, I do have some uh, scars healing, uh, blisters healing. Uh, from going to the dermatologist, but we're going to see what we can do today. I'm going to use uh, some pre-shave, Porosso Green, and I'm going to use my old familiar Porosso uh, Green Shaving Cream on that. I've got a brush from uh, Frank Shaving. Look at that, it's a crackle brush. It's got the paint like crackled on it. It almost looks like lava flowing. So I'm going to put this in the crystal skull right now. I received several from Frank Shaving. And uh, the only thing is, I never get direct links to go to their uh, brushes. So what they sent me is they sent me, they sell on Amazon. So they sent me links to Amazon in uh, the United States, Amazon in Europe. Uh, so I've got a few of those links in the video today. And I do have the links to fine accoutrements in the video today. Last but not least, we're going to try Latigo. Now Latigo is a leather scented uh, aftershave. You're probably saying what you're using... Uh, uh, menthol. You're going to use uh, aftershave, but yeah, quite honestly, after you get the shaving soap off, you really don't smell that anymore. What you smell the rest of the day is, oh yeah, it's got a good leather scent, is this. So we are going to use that today. Let us first, we'll load the razor. It's a really nice laser, razor. It's, uh, by the way, somebody's going to ask, made in China, okay? came in three different bags, the cap. You can build your own. You, you go to their website, you can really build your own. You can choose the cap, you can choose the handle, you can choose the uh, the base plate. This one is supposed, oh, man, I tell you, this is 316 polished stainless. It's really heavy. Got a little bit of a logo on the bottom there. Uh, and the knurling is quite good for it, or quite, sharp so I'm able to hold that which is nice. All right. Feather blade. Yeah this is itching like crazy so I'm actually looking forward to, to getting rid of it. And I'm sorry that the, my friends Tom and Kathy had to postpone their cruise but uh, it's probably better to do it at a safer time anyway. All right. Okay got the feather blade. And the caps even got the logo. I don't know if you see that world's finest. Put the blade in there. The base plate also, world's finest. That, like I said, is one heavy razor. So we are now set. All right, let me wet my face here, guys. Somebody asked, hey man, I, I, we don't see you in view, but uh, what I do is I keep a little bowl in here with hot water, and that's what I rinse the brush off with, or the uh, razor off with, and that is what uh, I wet my face with. So I, I do have that right in front of me in the sink. All right. Now I'm using the pre-shave because, you know, really, taking off the goatee. And I haven't shaved in a week. That was last Sunday, actually, but not the goat. Goat's been a couple of weeks, so you can see I'm not even going to do the business card test. You can tell there's, there's a lot of growth there, and it is bugging me. 
You just got to remember to go slow. Whew. There's that menthol, boys. Feel it in the eyeballs. <laughs> All right. Got the Parasso green right here. This is a badger. Didn't smell bad. Sometimes badgers can smell like wet animal when you first use them for a while. Okay. Kind of really want to get that goatee wet with lather. So the razor is new today and the aftershave is new today. The soap I'm familiar with. The blades I'm familiar with. And this is a powerful menthol scent also. All right. Get it out of my nose. What does this say? Pause once. An alert popped up on my phone. Okay. Hope I really don't open up any wounds here. Very smooth. But that's not going to be the test, right? The test is going to be that goatee. And with the safety razor, you know you can adjust the angle to get kind of a more of a cutting surface. So I was on their website, and like I said, one of their, a lot of the reviews say it's a nice mild razor. Got so many brushes to try. Got the Pink Boy soap and aftershave to try. It's gonna take me a while to catch up, guys. All right, here we go. What I don't get necessarily on the first pass, I'll get on the second. Don't want that razor clog up. There's a lot of hair there. It's closed cone too, but it's kind of got that look like the R41, where you've got ridges there, but definitely closed, see? Tiny bit, tiny bit of, uh, of teeth on there. Oh, got me. Here's that stupid alert again. Of all the places to get me, that's weird. A lot of people do if they're taking off their goatee or their beard is they use an electric razor first. But then I wouldn't have been putting this razor to the test, would I? I usually use an R41 to take off a goatee. But I will grow it back for no shave November. Are there a lot of reviews on this razor out there already? I, I, I haven't looked on purpose. Because then I might pick up a couple of their, uh, it's not a bad cut. Actually what I have here is kind of a 
pimple. He was growing hair pimple in her. Not anymore. some around here but this is perfect and it didn't cut me here which I thought it would be because that's where all the scars were and right here I hope I don't open that up all right we'll do a two pass guys a little more water in there Parasso dries quick a little more water in there there we go we're back in business she's coming out now there we go. Menthol oh, again. You can feel it burning in your eyes. <laughs> That's my trademark, right? Soap in the ears. Man, I clogged that thing. Remember my son? <laughs> I was hitting the handle, by the way, not the head. Much better. When it doesn't have to fight a forest, it's easier to get the lawn mode, right? See that? I kept the razor still and I turned my head. It works. One bad thing if you have an open comb and you're going this way is, you know, the ridge of your lip can go into that crack between the blades of the open comb and the blade can get you pretty good. So even though this isn't an open comb, at least I'm not considering it an open comb. Good. Good, good, good. Sounds conceited, but I like my videos myself because I like to see how it's going to turn out. I pick some combinations that may not work, man. That would be on me. All right. You're new to the channel? I cut my neck all the time, okay? Right here. But not today. <sighs> Forgot the towel. It's kind of cool you can build your own, you know, the world's finest cap head, handle. And do I need to, uh, no, man, it's not bleeding that bad. I don't need the uh, alum block or do I? All right, right. got the PAA. Alum block. Let's wet it a tad. Instantly tightens up the pores. God, I thought I was going to have to be doing this. I really did. Which I'm glad I don't. <laughs> Which I am glad I don't. All right. Latigo. Latigo. Seems to remind me of the name of one of the characters, one of the old John Wayne Westerns I used to watch. Or uh, the Westerns from the 50s or 60s. Latigo. Oh. 
Oh, holy cow. Yeah, there we go. But nice smelling. Very nice smelling. Hey, we're back to normal again, right? Oh, that was itching, man. I don't know how you got... Well, you get beard oil, right? You get conditioner. I understand. I understand. But, uh, wow. Does smell good. I have to test it with the uh, little woman today, my wife, and see what she thinks. And, uh, actually that crackle, lava-looking brush handle was easier to hold with those ridges, but did good. No complaints. No complaints. Now, I, as you know, I got, I don't want to say dozens, but probably more than dozens of razors, and, uh, that performed as good as the, uh, R41. See, similar heads. See, it's kind of a modified, it's not quite got the still got the bar in there well I think I've got an ATT yeah I'm uh, a little dusty and that is definitely open comb see look at that that gets your lip it's gonna cut you yeah that's the ATT above the tie this is almost very similar to the R41 so I don't know what okay. people say it was mild Handled that uh, fine or that uh, feather blade perfect. Good to be back, guys. Back in the swing. Hope everybody's doing good, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Please stay safe. Uh, watch yourself out there. It's not over yet. You know, I can't wait till I get a vaccine. In fact, I got a flu shot last Saturday. Made me feel kind of crappy during the week. You know how those flu shots do. But uh, I can't wait for them to say, hey, come get your COVID-19 shot. And that's when the world will start to be calmer and a better place, I hope. All right, everybody. Till next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night.